Let's learn how to add validations to custom input fields using React form. So what do I mean by that? So basically, we will create a directory here called components. In this, let me create a component for input. So we will say input dot jsx. Let me make it a functional input. So we can simply say export mm, default uh, you know how that goes export default function let's say common input okay input so we will return something which will be let's say an h1 first which will say what it will say i am an input tag so save and now let me import react at the top of it so we can say import react from react hmm. then we don't need this so remove it now let me call or return this component inside our app.js so we can say import common input from components input okay and remove these things h2 and h1 and render out return the common input and then we will get this i am an input tag so let me have an input here so we can say let me wrap this into a fragment because we cannot use two html elements like this so okay in this let's have an input it will be input initially we can type anything inside the input now let me give this a name so name should be this so basically let me add this so let's destructure name from the props that will pass i mean we will pass letter so name will be equal to name like this now let me type the name here called name or let's say small name fine now this input has a name of name now about the placeholder let's add type let's type placeholder here and as the name we will have placeholder from the props that we will pass from here so say placeholder equals to okay enter your name and it's here okay we cannot resize it like this okay fine okay 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 fine 125 percent is fine we can repeat it twice or thrice so here will be age and here will be let's say let's say let's say let's say let's say are you married or let's add nothing just name and age okay fine this will be age and we can remove the h1 here from here and we will only have this two input fields okay that's fine let's make it a div div and they are on the different lines okay how oh, okay okay let me what happened let me resize this okay fine fine okay they are on different lines but we need some gap between them so let's say class name common input and let me copy the class and add it inside styles.css and here we will say margin 20 pixels now they have a margin we can style the inputs but let's leave it for now because there are some just sample inputs now let me add react hook form as dependency so here we can type react hook form let me show you by resizing this so let me add react hook form so click this and it will be added here 7.43.1 i think that's the correct version okay fine now what we have to do is so see we have to add the 
validations here and we will pass it from here so what i mean is let me show you first of all we need to wrap this in a form tag so let's say here so we can say form and closing should be here now we have this let's also add a button here so we can say button and this will be submit button fine so let me add the type of button as submit in a string fine now let me create a function that will run when the form is submitted or when the button is clicked so we can say const submit form equals to an arrow function like this and this will take a parameter called data and we can simply console the console dot log this data now on the form submit we will use the function called or method called on form okay what is the name on submit yes and this will be here like this simple but if we are having simple form we will use on submit and this but if we are having react hook form we will do something like this so let me import the react hook form from react hook form so we can say import we can say use form from react hook form and from this use form we will destructure a few things so first will be the register so it's a unique parameter or a prop we can say that gets data from a form so we can destructure it like this use for second thing we need is the handle submit function which is basic to use for okay then we need the errors so we have a thing called form state and inside this we can find our error or error prop like this so we can save this and it's here fine all of them are declared but none of them are being used so we will use it now we have to do this so instead of submit form directly adding here we will pass the function name to this handle submit so just copy this handle submit and wrap the submit form inside and do this and it will work fine now what we have to do is we have to use this register to get the data from the input fields and add validations and to do that we can do it here i mean we have to do it here but we are importing it here so we have to pass them as props so we can say for this input we can pass let's say register and add it here now we are passing register and the name so name is also important because we will have to pass the name in register in this component which is input so let me get register from here restructure it like this and then in the input we have to create a prop like thing like this and destructure this register with the name for example the name of the input is a name we are getting so we have to add this name here and save and it will work it's loading but we have some error here what is the error register is not a function okay let me check if the problem here is we are passing the register in one component i mean one instance of the common input but what about second one so we have to pass this here as well so if you do that the error will go away okay we don't need to do this if we try saving okay let's retry you are not authorized okay but it is saved okay, fine now we have to pass the errors as well but leave it for now so we are passing the name and i mean passing the name is and the register function so we can try this let me enter my name and my age and let me open the console here clear it okay so how to clear it we can try 
okay how to clear it i think here yes let me resize it once and if you submit the name image will be here so it means that our prop registered is working that we are having here now what we need to do is we need to pass the errors as props as well like this and this now get the errors here as props as well now let me resize this or just hide this yes and make the space for this so let's get errors errors and to add the errors here we can do it like this so basically we will do this for example let me first console.log this errors so if you save and refresh the page if you submit see there is this is an object but it's empty so let me click submit here and we will see this empty object here but if you want to have the validations here we can add it here for example let's say this name property or the both properties are required so we can add it here so to add it here we can use this which is a required so in curly brackets add required as true now save this and try again click submit without filling the form and we will get name as object and age as object and in name we will get the type as required and the message and the reference so now we have to do this so if let's say errors dot name which is the name of the property if they exist i mean if they exist we have to show something let's say an error so say a p tag okay like this and inside we will say that this field is required or else we can throw an empty fragment now save this and clear the console now submit and the both fields are empty and we are getting the errors here now if you clear this and the decollapse the console the same error will be here but if you fill the name the error will go away but there is a problem here and that problem is this so let me try again let me enter the name here called nishant or just remove it and click submit here first so both are required fields if but if you add name the errors in both will go away not just one so we don't have to use it like this we can simply choose the errors and the name property and then we can add dot value now if you check now okay we don't have value here just add the name and let's check submit add the name called nishan kumar and only the name error will go away not the age error so we can modify this a little bit more so we can say just remove this field and add name and we can convert it to upper case so we can say to upper case i think that's how it is but it becomes too large so leave it fine no problems so okay we can do it as like this as well like placeholder not name so see, uh, click okay placeholder is something else okay okay just leave it as that fine no problem if you add the name here nishan kumar the name error will go away and if you add age the age error will go away now click submit we will see the name and age in the console like this if you remove one we will see this and no input in the console i mean no output so that's how we can create custom input fields and add validations on them using react hook form